Hi, we're back with another unboxing video, and this time it's the turn of the August 2024 WrestleCate UK Pro Wrestling Mystery Box. It's a box packed full of wrestling goodies, including autographs, t shirts, and then a whole host of other things covering WWE, New Japan, AEW, TNA, and indie promotions from around the world. It's usually fantastic value for money, um, I've never been disappointed yet, and to be frank, it's one of the best mystery boxes I've ever had. I've been a subscriber now for probably a couple of years, and I they haven't gone wrong yet. Um, we'll crack open the box in a minute, um, but as always, if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to click, click the like button, uh, subscribe if you're not already doing so, and don't forget to click that bell for notifications of when all our future videos are released. <laughs> Excuse me. So, without wasting any more time, we'll crack open this month's box and see if it's any good. As always, if it's we rate everything in the box, and if it's any good, we'll give it a hit. If it's not so good, we'll rate it a miss, and you'll see the scores build up as we're going along. So, let's crack open and go inside this month's box. Um, first up, um, they tend to do videos every month, um, or downloadable codes. Um, this one, there's a little bit of green which will disappear with the green screen. Um, shoot interview with Kevin Von Erich. Um, I do love the video content. We've had um, full-blown full events, um, free trials for streaming services, as with this one, shoot interview. These are, usually, these are great. Um, I've taken it long ago subscriptions to on-demand services before, thanks to the free trials. There's been some great one-off content. Nine times out of ten, I will automatically give these a hit. But starting off with this one, yep, that's a definite hit. So, off to a good start there. <clears throat> got frog in my throat this time. <clears throat> Next up. Um, it's their obligatory pin badge for the month. Um, can't go wrong with this one. Um, uh, Ric Flair. I love their pin badges. I've lost count now how many of these I've got. Um, to the point they've pretty much got a. I've got a box full of them now. Um, it's just waiting to sort out a display area. But love my badges. This is a regular monthly thing for them. Um, yeah, not much you can say there. But really like nice stylized badge. Um, yeah, another hit. <coughs> um, next up, they do a sort of little wrestle. Great buddies, um, little plushies, um, another one of the Grizzled Young Vets. Um, I can't remember, I think it was last month we had another one of these. Um, but yeah, quite cool. Um, built up quite a nice collection of these now. Um, they're sitting behind me on the shelf, which obviously you can't see thanks to the green screen. But yeah, I've got quite a few of these now. We've had British Bulldog, RVD, um, uh, I think it was, we've had Maxine Paler, I think. Um, but yeah, there's been quite a nice collection of these, all made exclusively for WrestleGrace. But yeah, nice little collectibles there. Um, but yeah, quite like these. So yeah, it's going to be another hit. Doing well so far, three for three. Um, this one's t shirt now. Um, I've, this is one thing they did actually show on their site, on Facebook. Um, so obviously, we've seen this before. In advance and um, move to the side so you can see it. Um, sharpshooter, um, Bret Hart, um, possibly. Um, I think my daughter sees this, she'll probably try. Oh, sorry, um, my daughter's actually started stealing a lot of my t shirts out of the Wrestle Crate boxes. Um, uh, I mean, I've got boxes and boxes full of t-shirts that I've been getting, not only from WrestleCrate, but from other boxes I used to have. Um, but yeah, nice shirt. Um, I do think my daughter's going to be stealing this one off me as soon as she sees it. Um, but yeah, nice shirt. Um, quite a nice sort of, nice design. Um, but yeah, I do like that one. Um, but so, get, get, get me another hit. Um, but I do see this one in my daughter's collection before I even get the chance to wear it myself. But, yeah, the box is doing really well. Um, this one feels a bit weird. Uh, 
Yeah, um, little plastic cup. Um, that's a drink. Yeah, so the plastic drinks cup says, ch or chili McFree says, enjoy this drink stone cold. And on the back, 316. Um, I've not, as you've, if you've seen any of my previous unboxing videos um, for the Wrestle Crate, I'm not a fan of their gimmick items at all. Um, yeah, it's a plastic cup. Um, it's it feels cheap. Um, it, I mean, it's quite squashy, um, but it just kind of yeah. It's we've got hundreds of drinking glasses, cups, and everything all over the house anyway. To the point that every so often we we've got that many that we end up having to purge, and they end up in the recycling and. Truth, truthfully, I can see this going the same way, um, but yeah, it's uh, yeah. I'm sorry, but that's that's that. I'm afraid it's going to have to be a miss. It's it, it's it's just tacky. Um, something like that, any sort of glass related to wrestlers, you're going to want something as a glass. I remember I went on holiday to. Blackpool, I think it was years ago. It's got to be about fifteen, about, 15, about twenty years ago now. And one of the arcades, um, there's some tickets, ticket games. And one of the things I could get was basically, I mean, I don't drink, um, but there's a set of shot glasses, and they're all sort of wrestler related. And um, so I cashed in some of my ticket tickets to get a prize for these wrestler shot glasses. But that was something that was more substantial to me as a wrestling related piece of merchandise to actually have some wrestling glasses I think there's The Rock um, and a few others I can't remember exactly now it's going, back, going back quite a while but to me that was more as a piece of merchandise worth having than something like that um, but I can't see that ever being used and to me it's kind of that feels like a waste um, almost like the sunglasses we had a few months back so I'm afraid that's going to be a miss from me um next um the cheat sheet um and obviously details of what's in next month's box well a hint of next month's box um, and then it's just uh autographs um uh first up is um elias aka ezekiel depending on whoever he feels like he's no it's elias it's Elijah, Elias, um, no, Elijah, I mean, I can't get a mix of all the different names he's using, um, but yeah, um, nice autograph, um, he's do he's starting to do the runs now on the indies, I think he's done some stuff with Joe Hendry's promotion Discovery, um, yeah, nice autograph, um, but, yeah, not really much to say there, <laughs> um, yeah, if you're a WWE fan or, if you're starting to, starting to follow him on the indies now, um, whether he's going to sign anywhere permanently or not, I don't know. Or just follow Matt Cardona's sort of influ well, inspiration now and just stick to doing indies and make a living that way. But yeah, nice autograph, so another one to another hit there. And finally, and this is the big one they've been pushing sort of on Facebook to say, you know, to sign up for the box. Um, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Um, this was the big selling point for the box this month, and you can understand why. Um, legend, no matter what promotion he's been at, and I think he has pretty much done everywhere. Um, yeah, can't go wrong with that one. Again, they've gone, rather than the photo, they've gone for their sort of stylized artwork. Um, but yeah, great autograph, another great one to add to the collection. So, yes, another hit. But yeah, generally another good box. Um, probably I'll say with the exception of the cup which is another one of these novelty things that i'm not mad on one thing i will say and this isn't just this box but next month's box and some of the boxes over the last couple of months russell crate have been giving away too for me i think they've been giving away too much information about future boxes they've obviously we knew about both autographs this time we knew about the t-shirt so it's taking away some of the mystery element and knowing what we're going to be receiving um Next month, we know that there's autographs for Matt and Jeff Hardy, and 
in a way, I kind of like the surprise of getting the box and not knowing what's in there at all. Um, to, to the degree I'm very much temp tempted to stop looking at their Facebook page and having a genuine surprise. And I can understand their logic, making sure they can sell the boxes and make sure they're a sellout from a business point of view. But from the, from the fans' point of view and opening a box and it not being a mystery, it kind of takes that fun away, I think. Um, but on to the actual, back, coming back to the box itself, though, I think it's still a great box, still fantastic value for money. All good apart from that mug, <laughs> or that, well, that glass. But yeah, it's still great. Um, I can't go, you still can't go wrong with Russell Craze, and I do think they're fantastic boxes. If you do want to pop, get one of your own, uh, either as a one off, which they do sell, or take out a subscription, you can pop over to their website there and pick up your own. And I still genuinely cannot recommend these boxes enough. They are absolutely fantastic and easily the best boxes I've ever had. Um, I do get one-off boxes for um, sci-fi um, pop figures and so on, as you will have seen if you do look at the channel uh, in more detail. And the WrestleCrate ones is the one I have stuck by no matter what. If I've, I have had to cut back on some boxes for financial reasons, but the one I would never cancel unless it was an absolute dire situation is WrestleCrate. But anyway, that's. I'd love to know what you think. If you've got a favourite item out of this, what do you think about that sort of glass? Um, is it something that you like personally, or is it something that you would have? <laughs> you've got the same feelings as me on it. But yeah, I'd love to know what you think. Uh, so just drop us a note in the comments below. Um, but anyway, that's it for this time. So uh, don't forget. Um, Drop us a like. If you're not really doing so, please take time to subscribe. And don't forget, click that bell for notifications so you know when our, our next videos are coming. Um, so that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all again next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click on the like button and leave us a comment below. Also, spare a moment to share this video on Twitter, Facebook, and all your social media pages. To get updates on all of our latest videos delivered straight to your inbox, subscribe now using the link on the screen.